it's Jason from Bohemia Bees. We are in the apiary today. It is a mild today, day here on the eastern shore of Maryland. Um, we're just now starting to break the 40 degree temperature mark. Some days are over 50, but most days are still under the 50 degree temperature, which is typically when bees are in a state of torpor and they don't uh, they don't they don't fly, right? So they cluster up in a ball inside that hive. They keep that brood nest warm. The brood nest since the winter solstice, which was the 21st of uh, December. Uh, has been slowly growing, not a lot, but slowly growing to replace those bees that are likely dying off that were in, um, you know, in the winter. So winter bees, right? So there is definitely a difference between uh, regular worker traditional bees and what we would define as winter bees. Uh, winter bees don't do all the jobs that are necessary to sustain a hive, right? Their main responsibility is to maintain the temperature in the cluster of bees within the colony. Right, so the, the, the queen will be in the, in the center, as we've shown in previous videos we've talked about, and those bees will keep in that cluster of uh, warm so that they will essentially still be able to rear brood and a small amount to replace the, the bees that are dying off. But that cluster is shrinking, so there's a lot less bees that, went in, that are in the hive today than there were going into winter. But we, uh, on the eastern shore of Maryland, in our colonies, we ensure that you know, naturally our hives are fed well going into winter. So we feed, feed typically two to one in the fall. Two to one is two parts sugar, one part water. It's a little bit thicker of a consistency. And again, it's just granulated white sugar mixed with water. Uh, we do that uh, naturally because uh, we've harvested honey in July, that time frame, And whatever nectar sources are continuing to go all the way until that fall point in time um, are, are depleted and there's not many uh, during the summer. So your August, you know, time frame, July, August, late, late July, early August, that's what we call a nectar dearth. So after you've harvested that honey off, you have to get those colonies back up to weight again so that they have the stores, the honey stores, to survive the winter. They use those honey stores as carbohydrates to ensure that they are, you know, kept energized when they maintain the temperature in that cluster we just talked about. So with that, we supplemental feed. So we go into fall, we feed them the two to one, two parts sugar, one part water. And then in the late fall, we'll also put in a uh, sort of an emergency resource or emergency stores. We've done uh, sugar shims, mountain camp sugar shims, uh, which is basically just dry granulated sugar on a piece of paper with a shim on top of the colony. Uh, so you're essentially putting it right on top of the frames. We've shown that in prior videos, so I'll put a link in the description if you're interested in doing that. We've also made our own fondant patties. Uh, we've done that in the past as well. Uh, typically, that's just done with a, a lot more sugar uh, and just a, a smaller amount of water to make it more of a, a consistency. I mean, you can look up a recipe for fondant online as long as you're not really using powdered sugar or uh, any type of molasses-based sugar, you should be fine. Um, we're not going to talk about that today, but we are going to talk about a product that is new this year that a lot of beekeepers have been using, and they're getting some good results out of it. And we are here as well on the eastern shore of Maryland at Bohemia Apiary, and that's Hive Alive. Um, Hive Alive is a company that was established a couple years back. Um, it's a, I believe it's a UK based company, um, but they are a unique um, UK, Ireland, I think, I believe. Um, so I believe that they've started doing a, an extract that you can mix with your sugar. So your feed, that two to one that I just mentioned you, or your one to one sugar feed, um, you can pour Hive Alive, which is a liquid based sugar, and it has necessary amino acids and vitamins and things like um, seaweed. Uh, they found that uh, seaweed um, it helps with maintaining the intestinal gut of the bee to help them have less issues and it helps them to digest the things that may be not as natural that they are typically used to. So nectar is what they're typically used to. Pollen was the, the natural portions of that. But when you start to feed them sugar and you start to feed them sugar water, naturally their gut is not as always as healthy, right? So we try to find ways to help give them the necessary vitamins and nutrients that they need. Um, so Hive Alive came out with a liquid that they've used uh, pretty successfully. A lot of beekeepers, I've used it here, mixing with my two to one and one to one sugar feed. Um, but going into winter, I've always switched into that granulated sugar again. Uh, and so if they didn't have that, that uh, Hive Alive in the feed, the liquid feed form uh, in the colony or for them to actually help, and these newer bees that are being born throughout the winter time frame don't have it in their gut already, there's not, not nutrients, um, they tend to have unhealthier guts, right? And maybe it's a little bit harder for them to digest the sugars. So back to uh, Hive Alive. Hive Alive has now had a, created a fondant patty. This is a, a one pound fondant patty. No, two pound, two pound fondant patty. I'm sorry, I apologize, because I cut it in half. So it's a two pound fondant patty, which is pretty good size. 
Uh, most fondant patties that you put in are, you know, usually one pound or two pound patties that you'll put in, but they tend to be a lot thicker. So these are actually a little thinner, which are real nice. They have all the same benefits of the Hive Alive product, except you don't have to figure on how much you need of the liquid to mix with your fondant that you're making, right? It's all you pre-mixed and a very easy to use, easy to store um, package, right? So it has your uh, Hive Alive in it, it has vitamins and amino acids, and it'll help your bees survive through the winter months when there is no nectar, there is no pollen coming in, and they have to just rely on their own stores. Um, so we're going to use it in our hives again. We've been using it already all winter. This is uh, late winter, so now we're going to go back and put back a few more pieces of this Hive Alive fund uh, in their colonies that don't have any more left, so we can help them supplemental feed. So let's show you how we prepare the patty to go in our colonies, because we don't use the full two pound patty. We could, um, and you, you, um, you surely could, but we're here at the late part of winter. We have like two or three weeks left of winter. So we're not going to put a full patty in because we really want them to start to look and forage for the natural pollens. And as the early buds start to bloom here in the next two to three weeks, they will look for nectar. Uh, we may supplemental feed as well, one to one. But for now, let's go ahead and put this potty in, patty in so that we can potty. Uh, we can put this patty in uh, and keep them keep them thriving into uh, out of the winter and into the spring. So we take our patties and we very simply just take and cut out the sticker. Why do we do that? It's just because it's an easy uh, way to uh, measure up where you want it to cut. So I just just score the top where the sticker's at. Okay. And I always go along and just score the actual top. It's really simple to do. And then that that actually can allow you to pull back the plastic on the, hot, the, the actual fondant. So you can peel it right back. This could be laid directly on the hive just like that upside down. They could get to that fondant and get up inside there. You don't need to cut that big of a piece off, but that's typically, I just use that as a unit of measure. Because what I also do is since I'm only using a half a patty, then I can take and actually take the patty and cut it directly in half, allowing me to have two one pound patties to use in a, a single deep colony. If it was a double deep colony, maybe a lot bigger of a cluster, I might just take the whole patty in. But now I have this patty that I can take out to my hives, walk out, peel, the, peel that little sticker off, and then flip it over on the hive and they can access that fondant in there. It's easy to get out there they don't, because if I don't do that and I start to peel off that sticker sooner, then I can't stack it and take it out to my colonies. Now I've got a stack of, of Hive Alive that I can take out to the, the actual colony. So let's go ahead and take a walk out to the, uh, the uh, apiary and just show us what it would look like when we're putting these on the hive. Stay tuned. Okay, so we've got our Hive Live fondant patties ready to go in. We are going to, uh, in the early spring, the bees are very defensive because they have no stores. So I put a little smoke when I do this, lift the lid, let them know I'm here. Set it back down, let them settle down. Um, and then I'll be able to put my patty in. If you look at, uh, when I lift this lid off, okay, there's bees underneath the, the lid. We set that to the side. You'll notice here is the Hive Alive packet from when I put it in last, and they ate it completely clean. If I look down in the colony, I can see them. They still have some honey stores, but they've been working that Hive Alive, which is great. They appear to be on one, two, three, four, about five frames in a cluster in a ball. So good, solid winter cluster still. Um, let's get this in so we can keep the heat in. I'm going to go ahead and take the next piece. And again, with it doing it this way, I can peel this off. And if you want to go ahead and lay that over there on the side, just so they can eat the rest of it off there, they can. Make sure you're not squishing any bees. Uh-oh. Make sure your uh, smoker cover's on. Give them a quick smoke. You're gonna lay the part that you cut open on top for them to get to it. You're gonna close that off. Allow them to go back to what they were doing. So that's how you would put that Hive Alive patty in there. That's worked well for us. We've got a bunch more colonies here to go ahead and do. 
But make sure you uh, go on our website. We sell Hive Alive. We can ship it to you by the patty. We don't have the case volume yet. We're going to be able to. We're going to be actually offering the cases as well. Uh, they're backed up on uh, their quantity of shipments going out. Um, they just uh, have been back ordered. So we just recently got our cases. Uh, so give us some time, but we'll have it in stock definitely for this year. If you're looking to supplemental fee going into the, the fall this, this year, probably not uh, going to be able to do anything unless you're local to me. Um, but go on our website, take a look at what other products we have on there at uh, bohemiabees.com. Make sure you check us out on YouTube. Smash that subscribe button down in the corner. We have grown this channel twofold, threefold in the last probably year. And we really appreciate the support. We really appreciate it. If you are watching, um, you can definitely come check us out on all the other channels, all the videos we have. But make sure you follow us and like, subscribe, and share as we continue to grow this uh, channel and share our beekeeping experiences with, with our community. So thanks for watching, everyone. Remember here at Bohemian Apiary, beekeeping is definitely more than a hobby. It's an obsession. Thanks for watching.